guys, this is the night before um, I'm going to do the sit down part you're going to see later um, about explaining what's going on, but I'm just going to explain to you what I'm making for dinner. Um, I am making uh, just some seasoned like garlic and herb chicken cooked in olive oil. I have on the side over here, I have bacon uh, and you saw grease in the pan, so that's the leftover bacon grease. I'm cutting up, which I forgot to show you. I'm cutting up some of these green beans and I'm going to rinse them off in the sink. And then um, I'm gonna let those cook and simmer until they're uh, the texture that I would like them, the crunchiness that I would like them. And um, then I am making with the chicken a garlicky um, herb sauce uh, made with heavy cream, butter, um, the leftover olive oil and herbs that's in the pan. And um, we're gonna put that with the chicken. And then I don't know if I wanna meddle together the green beans or not, but uh, Cameron loves my bacon green beans that I make. So I'm going to probably just have those on the side and then have the creamy chicken with, oh, there's also gonna be a six blend Italian cheese mixed in with the sauce. So it's like a cheese Alfredo type sauce. Um, and then you could probably just pour the sauce on top of the green beans if you'd like, but creamy herb chicken with Parmesan and, um, some bacon green beans so let me finish this and I'll show you the masterpiece when I'm done or I might show you the in between and then the masterpiece when I'm done so see you then bye What's up you guys and uh, welcome back to my channel. It is Vlogmas Day 7 I think. Um, I'm really sorry that I missed out on yesterday's vlog um, but I made a video and I found out that my boyfriend didn't want me to post it yet. Um, so I will make that the vlogmas of whenever he says that I can post it. But today I'm here with the sit down video for you guys because I started something new. Um, and I figured I would just let you guys know what it is. So, after my hair takes over the world and these cats kill me to death, um, but I started something new and I wanted to share it with you guys. Um, and I did it before, but I have no idea if I documented it on my YouTube channel or anything like that. Um, so, we're here going to tell you guys about it. So, um, of course, from the title, you might know uh, that I am doing a keto diet, and um, I tried it before. I don't know how long I tried it for, but I, I didn't know a lot about it. Um, I know a lot more than I do now, and I'm so much more educated, and last time that I did it, I did it completely wrong. So that's why I couldn't uh, stick to the plan and stick to the... the the diet because it, I was just doing it wrong so I just felt like crap and um So if you don't know what keto is, keto is um, or when you become ketogenic it's whenever your body um, starts using fat as its main energy source no longer carbs and your body starts producing ketones and when your body does start producing ketones that's when it is finally in the ketogenic state and um, you're using fat for fuel um, and fat for your energy source no longer carbs are your energy source so you eat a diet of high fat from what we know as fat is bad, it's an extremely high fat diet. Um, you eat a moderate protein um, amount and then you're also going to eat very low carbs. So um, your macros should be set up as 75% of your calories are fat, 20% is protein and 5% is carbs. So my macro layout, uh, right now I started eating 1600 calories because I'm still gonna be in a calorie deficient. Um, I'm eating 133 grams of fat, 80 grams of protein and 22 grams of carbs. But you do net carbs so you subtract your fiber intake and then it's what carbs you have left over. So that's good to know because last time I had no idea about that and I also had no idea what the macro ratio was so I was definitely not eating enough fat so my body could never get in that ketosis stage and I just had no energy ever um, and I was just hungry all the time and I just I didn't do it right. Um, so uh, I found a document um, about and a video um, about everything and explains everything. Uh, I'll link that in the uh, description box below. It was on bodybuilding.com. 
so uh you know i'll show you guys that video it's about an hour and something long i tried finding it on podcast but it's okay they explain everything that you need to know and the main guy uh who well one's the expert on the keto drink diet the other one has been doing it for eight months then there's a woman in there who asks the questions as if she's like uh the person who wants to start out um and so or questions like we would ask for people who doesn't know what ketogenic is and a keto diet is um so she asks the questions um man these cats i'm telling you so i've been doing it for two days um i'm trying to just make sure i answer all the questions um but the 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 pros about this diet is people have said after you become into the ketogenic stage and your body has converted and starts making ketones which you can do like pee tests uh prick your finger tests and stuff like that i don't know if i'm going to get that extreme into it i might i don't know um but it takes about two to three weeks for your body to start uh, making ketones and producing them in the body and in the blood um and then during those two or three weeks, uh, you know, they say that you're going to be super tired, super just, you're going to feel like crap because your body, it, you're taking away its main energy source and you're trying to change your body into using fat for fuel. So of course your body's going to feel depleted and tired because its main energy source is being taken away and you're trying to force it to use something else. So, um, that lasts about two to three weeks. And then, um, after that you should have plenty of focus, mental clarity, you're not going to be as hungry all the time, uh, you're not going to have that, you know, middle day energy slump uh, that a lot of people do get and it's supposed to also keep you fuller longer so you won't have to eat as many meals, you just eat bigger meals um, and I know I have a problem with constantly eating all the time but I found out so far um, that three, the two days that I've been on it, I've only had I think three meals um, and as you guys saw in the clips before uh, for my pre-workout what I've been having lately is I have coffee one tablespoon of butter now I would use the curry gold but I'm out of that but I'm still using all-natural sweet cream butter um, I use one tablespoon of coconut oil and then I've been using half and half which is really good you would think you know you could taste the oil and the butter would be weird in coffee but it actually does taste really good i have the past two days especially this or this morning too i have had great energy and i just feel amazing um and i i don't really think about food whenever i go into the gym um and i still feel great i haven't felt crazy you know lethargic or tired or anything like that um, but this morning i will say day three woke up starving i was dying literally so I think my body's starting to notice like hey what are you doing you're not giving me my energy source so we'll see you know how the rest of the week plays out and everything like that now some uh, other benefits of like foods that you can eat that you could start looking into to eating is butter coconut oil burgers cheese bacon avocado whole eggs full fat cream cheese full fat cheese everything um, half and half heavy cream nuts but of course you got to make sure you watch out for the carbs and you can use all those things which just opens my mind up to so many recipes as you guys saw yesterday I made like a uh, a chicken that um, was sauteed in olive oil I don't do that very often because it is high in fat but it's so delicious with all the herbs on it and then I made a uh, Parmesan garlic and herb uh, cream sauce made with I thought I had heavy cream, but I had to use half and half. Um, and then on the side was like some bacon, buttery uh, green beans that I love making. So that was my dinner last night. It kept me full and I love it. So also I can show you guys plenty of recipes throughout this diet um, and for however long, I hopefully, you know, it'll be a lifestyle that I enjoy. Um, and I'll just show you guys different recipes. So I'm going to have to find some fun desserts and different breakfasts uh, that I can play around with. But right now my breakfast is just two whole eggs, two strips of bacon cooked in butter with um, like salt and pepper and it tastes amazing I'm in love with it sometimes I'll do scrambled eggs with cheese and a little bit of ketchup on there salt and pepper butter um, the other day you guys saw I had uh, zucchini mixed in with it too so that was really delicious um, but uh, I'm trying to think of other things to tell you guys um, I know that sodium they 
said in the video, sodium and electrolytes are very, very important because you're going to be very depleted of them. And that's another thing that people don't notice is uh, you're going to get very depleted and, and you're going to feel that a lot. So if you're not replenishing it, if you're not adding salt in your food because you're too afraid of sodium, your body needs it. So get to salt in that food and just add in different high sodium things into your diet because it says that you definitely definitely need it so i uh, have not been afraid of the salt lately i've been using my pink himalayan salt um and so far day three and i know it's just the morning but i'm loving it um, i'm trying to think of any other benefits i mean i'm just gonna have to keep showing you guys i am at 140.9 uh, or 8 or something like that and uh, two days ago i was 143 so i know it's a lot to do with the carbs because carbs hold a lot of water weight so i'm getting depleted of course um but so far i mean i've loved my meals i've loved my foods i haven't really felt super like dying hungry um so we're just gonna see how far you know along that goes um, I'm gonna come up with different fun recipes and I know my boyfriend's gonna love it because he loves fat and oil and everything like that too so I can just make si uh, stuff on the side for him foods you can't eat let's go with that of course everyone knows what carbs is but you might as well give them a list um, you have your breads your rice your sweet potato it's hard to eat fruit but you can have berries because I know those are very low carb um, no oats oatmeal uh, and anything processed of course like your we're gonna throw random stuff out there, but you like your Twinkies, different ice creams. I know all the fun stuff, but I won't like make you sad there. I won't, you know, turn or uh, let you down there. Um, the guy who's been doing it for eight months, he went in to help these mental ill kids who were taking medication um, that he uh that would put on 40 pounds because of this medication that's when he found out about keto the ketogenic diet he tried high carb uh or carb cycling he tried super super low carb he was miserable he looked great but he was miserable doing it so he fell in love with this ketogenic diet because now he feels amazing and he doesn't feel like it's a diet um so that's kind of why he's been doing it for eight months now something that you can do i'm gonna try it on christmas day because it'll be about three weeks i should be ketogenic adapted he said what he does is once uh, one day during the weekend, he has kids, he goes to birthday parties, he goes to events, he goes out with his friends. It's not realistic for him forever to do a ketogenic diet and to say goodbye for carbs forever. So once, day, one day a week, he eats 350 carbs. Um, and then he found out, and he does this with his clients that he works with too, that within 24 hours, his body goes back into, uh, you know, the, into ketosis, a ketosis stage. So, uh, I typically, of course, would not eat 350 carbs, but I would introduce some carbs back into my day. He says that he doesn't do all, you know, a high fast digesting carbs. He does some slow digesting along with it, but it also helps so you don't feel lethargic, like you can never have carbs in your life again. It gives you that kind of like refeed, um, cheat meal, whatever you want to call it, treat meal. Um, it gives you that effect and that's awesome. So um, some other fun things I'm excited for is I can have Quest Bars, um, which I didn't do that before, and I, can, I think I mentioned that already, but, and then I can have um, Halo Top because you can subtract the sugar alcohols because it's just ethanol and that doesn't mess up with anything, um, supposedly. So that's going to be the end of this video. You guys saw my recipe at the beginning. I told you guys about the keto diet. I'm going to show you my progress along the way. I'm going to stick with this. So far, I'm loving it. I know it's only been two, three and a half days, but I'm ready for it and I'm ready to have fun. Um, so this is going to be super exciting. I love starting new things just because why not? It keeps you motivated. It gives you something different to look forward to and just change in general. So if you guys really like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, comments, or anything, just let me know down below. I'll answer it as best as possible. And I'll just show you guys my progress um, and my, of course, different meals that I make. And if anything happens, like, you know, during these two to three weeks, of course, when it comes to my energy levels and how I feel, I'll inform you guys about that as well. Um, and yeah, so... Um subscribe if you want to follow along me more and um i'm gonna try and get as much uh continuous vlogmas days as possible but sometimes life happens and there's nothing i can do about it so i'm gonna do it the best of my ability but my breakfast is waiting and so i will see you guys in the next vlog bye